Hi everyone and welcome back to Crystal Dream channel. Today's tutorial is about how to make this wonderful and colorful bracelet using Matubo seed beads. So you will discover that it's very easy to make. I encourage all of you to try and make your own at home. So we can start now taking a look to the material we need and you will see that we need a very very few parts. So let's get started. First, I want to remind you that all the materials is available on our website www.crystaldream.s So we need some lobster claw clasp I choose this one that is stainless steel Two rings Very important to hook the bracelet to the clasp Then a pendant, optional The pendant is optional, I prefer to put one And then two tutors and do two cream beads So then uh, Matubo seed beads, these are 60 size that is equivalent to 4 millimeters. I choose these three colors that I think they match among themselves very very well. And uh, a big eye needle, a um, plier and a lighter. So then last but not least our thread that I choose super long 210 super long thread I think is the best one for this type of bracelet this is 0.5 millimeter size so first of all we take our lobster claw clasp and we insert our ring a double jump ring in it I prefer to use double jump ring because it's it makes all our job, our work very, very sure, very secure. So we put two double jump rings hooked to the lobster claw clasp. I think that what I'm doing now is the most difficult part for this bracelet because the rest is very very easy. I really encourage all of you to try and make your own at home. So I insert the pin as well. And done. Now we are ready to start. Here our first piece, our tutors, and my thread. You can take approximately 50 centimeters of thread. But I think that these are enough for my bracelet. So I pass the thread inside the first hole of the tutor. Remember that the tutor protects the wire or the thread we are using and here again now we position the tutor like this and we pass it inside the double jump ring I put before in this way exactly in this way Remember that pendant, we have a lot of them and we have laser fiber engraving service so if you need something very very customized contact us and we are very very glad to help you and Then, on the other side I will start inserting the cream bead I shift them, I shift it. Until the tutor, then I pass the other tip in it.
so I get I got my both thread together inside it and then I crimp it I smash it in order to get both cord stuck and now I'm ready to start inserting the Matubo 6-0 seed beads I open my big eye needle I pass the thread inside it and now I'm ready to start my work use your creativity to make your own wonderful and personalized bracelet we have a lot of colors you can combine them in a lot of ways I started choosing these three but you can choose a lot of them remember to visit our website crystaldreams.s and you will discover that Matubo are available in a lot of colors the advantage of Matubo seed beads is that the hole the inner hole is bigger than all the others type all the others brand Miyuki 60 are not so big the inner diameter is not so big so we can repass inside it inside it a lot of time and as you can see I, I'm using some O beads too O beads I put them only sometime randomly in my bracelet or to in order to separate colors among themselves so I follow inserting all my colors that I choose mixing my black mate matte black my gold and my Picasso gray Picasso color are very very fun because they are a mix a very nice mix of colors for make our creations and I repass inside it again probably I told you 50 centimeters of cord but mm, I, I won't say you to make to take more it's better to take something like 17 or 80 centimeters in order to be to be very very sure that you can finish your bracelet and you can make your bracelet with the size you more like if you want to make only one loop you can take something like 30 centimeters if you want to make two loops 50 60 centimeters if you want to make three or more loops you can calculate 30 centimeters for every loop you need to make you do for your bracelet then I repassed inside the second tutor again and then inside the other double jump ring I tense both extremities and the work is almost done once I pass the tip inside the cream bead and, we, and I will hide the extremities inside the beads Anyway, you can click on the link in the, in the description box below and you will see other two bracelets I did with other combination. And you can use your creativity. Now I smash my cream beads, my cream bead here, in order to get both cords stuck, among, uh, coupled. And then I hide my 
extremities inside the beads. Then I cut away the cord who left and here the other one and done here you are my bracelet I think the result is amazing I encourage all of you to try and make your own at home and I will show you how to make another one here using red and yellow Picasso effect colors and um, I prepared another one using turquoise and white and Picasso blue as well with different pendants as a feather as a round pendant you can use your imagination so I encourage all of you to try and make your own see you next time to everybody happy beading and bye bye